All right, so this is going to be recording on how to clean up any object that you want to add to your animation scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, I'm going to create a reference, and I'm going to find the object that I want to tinker with. I'm going to introduce a chair, and uh, already this chair is giving me cause for concern. Uh, the reason being is because it's not centered, and if I were to select all of this and, and try to move it, the pivot point is away from the chair, and I don't want that. So uh, what I'm going to do is this. Uh, let's first uh, check out the, the object. And look, it, it's separated into different parts. So if I want to combine those parts, all I have to do is select all of them, select Control G, and what that does is group the object together. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that again. Uh, let me go ahead and show you again. It's different objects, and you can see in the outliner here, it's, it's I think, what is it, five different pieces? Yeah, five. So I'm going to select all of those objects. I'm going to click Control G. And by doing that, now all of the objects are in one place in my outliner. So I'm going to call this chair. And now when I click on chair, my object is all selected. Now the problem still is, is it's, it's somehow not connected to the pivot point. So I would have to move this like this, uh, but uh, one easy thing you can do also is going into front view and uh, manipulating it in this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this chair where I want it to be in space. So I'm going to get it as close to center as I think I can. And this is where I want the chair to be in space. So I'm going to go back to my perspective view, make sure that it's good. Okay, perfect. So um, now that the chair is exactly where I want it to be, I still don't like that this pivot point is away from the chair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the D key and the D key is going to allow me to manipulate my pivot point. So um, I want this pivot point to be at the center. Let's just say I want this pivot point to be at the very center so it's easier to move. So what I'm gonna do is go into my left view. I'm going to move this pivot point to the center of the chair in the left view as close as possible. Uh, if you really, really want to get as close as possible, uh, you can just zoom in. If you, again, if you really want to be um, as precise as possible, you can just move in here. I'm going to zoom out. Now that my left view looks good, I'm going to go to my front view. And I'm going to move this in the front. And now when I press the W key to move my chair, it moves at the center of my chair. Pretty cool stuff. So now if I go in perspective view, look, my pivot point is now at the center. Uh, please keep in mind though, um, you have to select the entire chair in your outliner to be able to move it. Please, please, please keep that in mind. Uh, do not think that you can just select the whole thing and then automatically like, oh, look, it's fine. No, um, you have to select it in the actual outliner. So um, now that I have this at the center, um, I actually don't like how this is going to be rotated. Um, reason being is if I were to rotate this chair, the pivot point is, is like this. And if your character is leaning back in the chair, uh, it's going through the ground. So to fix that, I would literally have to move it up like that. To make it easier, I'm actually just going to move this pivot point. So I'm going to go back to the back to the front view, 
And I'm gonna press the D key. Remember the D key is to move your pivot point. And I want this point to pivot from the back of the chair. Uh, so if our character was leaning back, they would be rotating from this point. To show that, I'm going to go back into perspective view. I'm going to press my W key so that I'm now able to move the chair. And look, I'm still able to move it just fine. Select the chair again. I'm able to move it just fine. But now when I rotate my chair backwards, I'm rotating on this axis. So now if our character is leaning back in the chair, I can rotate in confidence that it will be rotating from this axis. Now, uh, with that said, I never want to animate on geometry. Ever, 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 ever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a controller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to curves. I'm going to create a circle. So uh, just so you know, NURB curves is, is generally what we use for controllers. So you all see that again. I'm going to go to uh, curve slash surfaces. I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to click on R to expand this. And then just kind of make it as close as possible to the chair. Uh, one thing that I like to do is I'll hold down the right click button on my mouse and I'll go to something called uh, curve point or sorry. I'll go on something called uh, edit point. And now you can see that I have these points that I can edit and I'm going to shape these um, kind of uh, towards the direction of the chair. So I'm going to squeeze these in. Uh, I'm going to select these. I'm going to squeeze those in as well. And now I have a kind of a nice shape for my chair. Go to the top view. Uh, and as you can see, it's still a little weird. So I'm going to go back to object mode uh, by holding down the right key while this is selected. I'm going to hold down the right key on my mouse and I'm going to go to object mode. And now I'm just going to manipulate this to uh, try to be center of my chair. So now that I have that, I have a controller. I'm going to go to perspective view. I'm going to call this controller chair control in the outliner. I'm going to move it, hold it down, and I'm going to move it above the chair. And I'm going to put this chair geometry inside the chair control. So now when I move this object, I have a controller that moves all of the geometry for me and I'm no longer animating on the geometry. So, uh, what do I like to do when I do not want to animate any of the geometry? I select all the geometry that I do not want to animate. I'm going to go to my channel box and I'm going to click on create a new layer and assign selected objects. So when I click on that, let me click the V button to make sure that I can see that it's in my layer, which it is, perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep clicking this empty box until it says R and R is for reference. So now when I select my chair, I do not select any of the geometry. I can only select the controller. Congratulations, I've basically just showed you how to make a simple animation rig for an object. So um, just like I was saying earlier, if I want my character to lean back, 
Um, very, very simple. If I were to rotate this, um, obviously this is going through the floor and it's gonna be a lot of work to keep animating this um, to touch the floor. So to make it easy, again, I'm going to select my controller. I'm going to select the D key so that I can make sure that it pivots from the back point. I'm going to go into the front view to make sure that I can see it closer. And I'm going to move it right at the corner where it would pivot. Now I'm going to go back to perspective view and I'm going to select my, my NURB curve again, select the E key for rotate. And now when I rotate this, it is rotating on this back axis. So if your character is leaning back in the chair, it's so much easier to animate from this way. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, this is also a small tutorial on how to make a, a, a basic rig, but also how to kind of clean up your assets so that it's easier to animate in Maya.